In the end of the 1940s, the fans of mountain skis revealed this wonderful place in the Shimbulak area at the altitude of 2,200 kilometers above sea level. Long natural slope, perfect for descending in combination with original composition of snow, as it was found out later, provided the best sliding and adherence for alpinists. Soon they mounted the first piste in the country, which met all international standards. Starting in 1950, all Union mountain skiing competitions were held at Shimbulak. No developed infrastructure could be found here at that time. The sportsmen usually gathered at the Medeo Sport Complex, so every day they made the accelerated march on the mountain. In order to make a 15-minute ride possible, they had to climb the mountain for all of three hours. Irrational, isn't it? However, soon the resort started changing very quickly. In 2007, its modernization started, which continues till now. Today, the high mountain skiing complex Shimbulak is equipped with the most up-to-date facilities and meets all international standards. Hello, you are watching with in the process, the program which tells you in detail about the products manufactured under the label made in Kazakhstan. Our cameras are focused on the process of the organization process at Shimbulak Mountaineering Complex, which is one of the main sightseeing places in Kazakhstan. The Shimbalak Mountaineering Complex is the pearl of Kazakhstan. It is located in the Zailiski Alatau Range near Almaty. In order to provide sportsmen and the holiday makers with an interesting and safe leisure, time-consuming and assiduous work is made here every day. Though the public skiing starts only at 9 a.m., the special rescue team starts working at sunrise. At 5 a.m., after a traditional safety meeting, the ski patrol holds a number of actions. The main task for the rescue team is to estimate potential avalanche dangers, thus providing safety and comfort to all visitors. First of all, they measure the snow temperature. It can vary depending on the thickness of the layer. For example, the temperature of the snow surface depends on ambient humidity and temperature. The lower layers are much warmer. This is why the thermometer shows a positive temperature. It is necessary to measure the temperature of absolutely all layers. The team's work is not limited to this. This is followed by the stability test. They choose an unmoved section on which the lifesavers carve a snow fragment of two meters by two meters. First, they test its integrity by patting it. Then they affect it with more strength. If the cold material withstands the structural test, it means the snow cover is stable and good for skiing. Thus, the patrol determines which of the ski runs to open which are better to close for better safety. Then they measure the height of the snow cover and inspect each layer separately, for which they make visual inspections of snowflake crystals using a special device. The thing is that an avalanche is created due to a number of factors, which are the melting of the lower snow layers and their sponginess and the instability of the entire snow cover. The stability test allows them to get the whole picture of the snow cover estate. Local specialists learned all these tests from their Austrian colleagues who come to Kazakhstan every year to train lifesavers. European safety standards and the most up-to-date equipment help Shimbulak meet the international level. For the snow to appear earlier, they use special devices like artificial snowing devices or snow guns. The system is simple. Each of these devices is connected to water. Under high pressure, the facility sprays thousands of fine particles of it. Like a deodorant, and when in the air, these fine drops become snow. The most important thing at this moment is the ambient temperature to be minus. When skiing is finished and elevators at all slopes are switched off, the ski patrol goes out for a raid. The main task for the rescue team is to inspect the ski run for free riders, people who like to ski at the slopes which are not fit for it. It is free riders whom the lifesavers often have to free from the snow trap. This often happens after small avalanches come down from the slope. A case like this happened at the highest top of Shimbalok when the episode was shot. A fan of prohibited skiing climbed at the slope which was not fit for it and was covered by a small avalanche. Fortunately, the adventure seeker was noticed by the ski patrol in time. In three minutes, the rescue team arrived at the place of the avalanche with all the necessary equipment. 
According to the international standards, the Lifesaver has only 15 minutes to render first aid to anyone who is under snow. This is why they have to work fast. A few minutes later, another extreme skier was found a little higher. It was found due to a special device called a beeper. Every fan of mountain skiing has such a device when climbing the mountain. Beepers produce a radio signal by which the Lifesavers can immediately find the sportsman who is in danger. Cars like these also go out on the slope together with the rescue team. Due to a wide body and tracks, this vehicle can easily climb the mountain. With the help of such vehicles, the slope obtains a raised pattern and becomes fit for skiing. Passing along the slope several times, the vehicles leave, and the mountains are open for all wishful to ski. If you don't have your own skis or a snowboard, you can rent all necessary equipment. The main thing is to know how to use them. Skiing for the first time, it's not a problem. Resort instructors can teach you quickly how to ski and about its safety. If you have never done it before and want to ski right now, it can be dangerous to first go up the ski run. You can learn the basics of mountain skiing in designated special training areas. Each slope has special facilities to lift the skiers up quickly. At high mountains, these are chairlifts and platter pools. And here is a travelator. Lifting mechanisms ease the skiing process significantly since it is difficult and inconvenient to climb mountains by foot, and it takes a lot of time. This is why a few kinds of elevators operate on the slope. The first station from which climbing starts is a mixed elevator. It is one kilometer and 800 meters long. It has 27 cabins and 54 chairlifts to get you up easily and with convenience. At the second station, located higher, 18 cabins and 36 chairlifts lift the visitors to the highest point. The extension of such a high mountain journey is one kilometer and 300 meters. The equipment was modified right before the seventh Asian Olympics and today Shimbalak is sure to host contests of all levels, from Republican contests to Olympiads. Skiers and snowboarders have long ago divided into two camps. The first one asserts that snowboard depreciates snow, cutting the even surface of the slope, and the second say that skiers give no possibility to maneuver or make a trick because they ski at high speeds. By the way, the safety rules strictly prohibit standing, lying, or sitting on the ski run, since it is impossible to stop even at the speed of 40 kilometers an hour, and one can descend from the mountain at higher speeds. This is why it often happens that skiers and snowboarders meet on the mountain. In case of such situations, a medical team is permanently on duty on Shimbulak. Fractures, bruises and sprains is the gist of the few traumas that the medical workers of the complex have to treat. Medical first aid is rendered quickly and precisely here. All lifesavers working at Shimbulak have several times trained at international medical first aid courses. The ski resort is a great place to relax, not only in flesh, but soul as well. One can enjoy pure mountain air looking at the splendid views of Zaliski Alatau and experience many positive emotions. Maybe this is why the number of visitors coming to the mountain ski resort increases from year to year. For example, in 2011, 240,000 people came here. And in 2012, this number increased to more than 340,000 people. 340,000 and three people. We are here also. You have been watching within the process the program that tells you in detail about what is produced under the label Made in Kazakhstan and changes your attitude towards the things that surround us in everyday life. My name is Dima Galabir. I am Daniyar Patirbayev. See you in the next episode of Within the Process.